there's four laws to the database, right? Number one, we've got to organize it. Number two, we got to systematically talk to it. Three, we got to feed it every day. And four, we got to convert the leads out of it. Hello, my name is Brad Baldwin. I'm with Eisenhower Real Estate Coaching Consulting, the director of coaching over here. And um, I wanted to shoot a quick video on, I think, is probably one of the most important tools and topics that you can have as a real estate agent. And that is your customer relationship management system or your CRM. I don't wanna get into a discussion on what's the best CRM out there and all that kind of stuff and those topics. It's just, we could be here all day. But what I do wanna show you is how to set up your CRM for success. Um, what, what categories should people be in and that sort of thing. So when you're setting up your CRM, it's really important to have it coexist with the material that we're teaching you, okay? And this is what we teach you here at um, uh, Eisenhower Coaching, is we want to have our sphere of influence database. These are the people that know us, like us, trust us. We're on a name to name relationship, meaning if I called up Andy, Andy probably wouldn't say hello. Andy would be like, hey Brad, what's going on? Hey Andy, what's up? that sort of thing. That is how that relationship should be. Or if you walked into a, a grocery store or you walked into church or, or something like that, they would know who you are and you know who they are. That is your sphere of influence database. So we want to set those people up in our, in our CRM. The second category is a place for leads. Okay. Leads come in and leads need to get contacted immediately. Okay. So whether they come off the internet or whether they come off our sign calls or marketing, advertising, open house, whatever they come off of, leads. And we need to get a hold of them if we have not gotten a hold of them once uh, to qualify that lead, we need to get a hold of them, okay? And that's what we call our two week assault plan. And we're gonna teach you what that is here in uh, various different trainings in our, on our online learning center. The two week assault plan is another category. Then we have what we call leads, okay? And leads are defined in four categories. They're A, B, C, or D. A, B, C, or D, okay? So an A lead, a B lead, a C lead, and a D lead. Again, there is some trainings on those on what those mean. Um, you know, an A lead is somebody that's wanting to buy a house in zero to 30 days and a B lead or a warm lead is 30 to 90 days and a C lead is three to nine months and a D lead is nine to 18 months. So you want those categories as well. Now there's arguably a couple categories that might fit into other places. You might wanna have a category in your CRM called uh, vendors or, or B2B or something like that. People that you're doing a business to business relationship with. Um, to be honest with you, I, I do coach most people to keep it simple. I think if you have a business to business relationship with somebody, I just prefer to put them in my, in my SOI. That's how I do it. Uh, that's how I teach most of my clients to do it. Some of my clients want to have a vendor specific client event, or they want to be able to have a list of the vendors that they can download and email to somebody, that sort of thing. So some people will set that up in their CRM as a vendor. I prefer not to do that. I like to keep things simple and clean and nice, and they're getting the same marketing materials. They're getting the same touches anyway. And I think that Bob the accountant is Bob my SOI too. Even though technically it's not, it's actually a vendor. I like to say SOI, two week assault plan, A, B, C, and D. Now, there's one little caveat when setting up your SOI. Sphere of influence contacts need to be contacted at least four times a year via phone or text, direct message, that sort of thing. You have to have a two-way conversation, drop bys, whatever you wanna do. They have to have a two-way conversation four times a year. So here's the thing, okay? There's four quarters in the year. First, second, third, and fourth quarter. No matter where you live in Canada, South Africa, United States, there's four quarters in a year, okay? There's three months in every quarter, okay? Which means that there's 13 weeks in every single quarter. Stick with me. 
13 weeks in every single quarter, there's 26 letters of the alphabet. Now, what most people do is they'll, they'll call their A's and their B's, or C's and their D's, or E's and their F's. And then we get down to G's and H's, and they're, they're, they're exhausted because there's a lot of people. Mine is Brad Baldwin. There's Andy Anderson, right? There's Chris, Chris there's a uh, Chris, whatever, you know? But there are a lot of A's and B's and C's in this world, okay? So what we need to do is we need to divide when you're setting up your CRM. I like to put in my SOI, either a sub tag or just tag them like this in your CRM. And that way it makes it very nice and clean and neat to organize your CRM. There's four laws to the database, right? Number one, we've got to organize it. Number two, we got to systematically talk to it. Three, we got to feed it every day. And four, we got to convert the leads out of it. Okay, so number one, we're talking about organizing it. So we're, this is videos about organizing your CRM. Okay, so let's have our SOI and let's put them in the letter cycles. Well, what is it? What is that, Brad? Let me show you real quick. It's in your materials and your, your letter cycles need to go like this. So the last names of the US population are actually categorized here in percentage wise, right? Now, this isn't something that I dreamed up. This is something that's been around for a while, and there's actually uh, quite a few people that um, you know have, have used this system, and you see this a lot. But the point of the matter is, is it's very, very, um, a, a very, very clever, very, very neat way to organize and keep everything nice and tidy in your CRM. So everybody, with the last name A, last name A last name W, last name B, last name E, last name D, last name O. That's how you want to set up your CRM. So I would set my CRM up with 13 categories and I'd call it SOI, A and W, SOI, B and E, SOI, D and O, SOI, H and B. Or you could do like SOI and set it up in subcategories, however you want to do it. That's the way I like to set up a CRM. So I have 13 of the letter groups, then I have two week assault plan tags, and then I have an A, B, A lead, B lead, C lead, D lead tags. So those are my tags or categories that you want to set up in your CRM. Depending on what CRM you use, some of them are called tags, some of them are called categories. And what I'm explaining to you is a lot of work to get everything set up. But once it's set up and organized, then it's very easy to systematically talk to it, systematically contact these people. You know, you just have to know what day of the week it is for our leads. So if it's an A lead, we're talking to them on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays. If it's the first week in the quarter, we're talking to our A's and W's, right? And if we have a new lead in that we've never talked to before, we put them in two week assault. And now you're gonna become what I call efficient and hopefully that'll keep you more organized and able to um, sell a lot more real estate. Thank you.